Hey guys, so sorry, I'm, I just woke up and uh, I wanted to do this video. So I've never shared this. I'm, I'm hesitant to share it, but it's so powerful of a feeling that I had when I saw this. Man, when I felt this, I had a vision months and months ago that I, that I, kept, I keep these things so close that I don't just have them and then go, oh, let me go put it on YouTube so that I can get, you know, my name or face. I, I, I show my face so you can feel my emotion. You can see my sincerity. You know, that that's important to me. And so I had this vision that I don't know what, what happened. I think maybe I, I had died and or I was older and I went to heaven. And I was in this, um, like gold. It was just the light it was like gold. And, but I felt like I was in the middle of the universe. Like I could see all the stars, but it was like the light was kind of gold around me. And, and, and God was there. All right. Let me explain. God was there and he, his hair, it was his I couldn't see his face really, but I, he looked like a lion. And he said, he said, you know, I didn't, I didn't, his lips didn't move. I couldn't see his face, but I felt him, I felt him tell me, <clears throat> do you want to travel the universe with me now that you're home? And there, I don't remember the judgment, although you know, I know that that's part of your, 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 your fate, judgment. But I think somehow at the time I felt like judgment had been misrepresented and there's always time to repent. And after I had this vision, I started repenting and uh, you should repent every day because God sees the good things that you do and say, he knows everything. It's incredible. And so when God was in front of me, you know, like, and, and I, it's like a 360 view, all of a sudden, all these screens show up like holograms. And he's like, where do you want to go? And he just takes his finger and he goes, and they all spin and he stops them. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? Where, I, where do I want to go? He said, we're going to travel the universe. You're home. You've always wanted to see the universe. I know what, you, what your desires are. I know what your, your heart wants to do because I've said so many times like when I get home man I'm not leaving God's side I I I want to I want to see everything from the beginning of creation to, to where we are to where I was and it was so amazing because I don't remember the judgment but I knew that that part I believe had already happened and I can get into that later but man when, when he asked me, I felt in my heart like, you know, you're home. And he knew, he knew, how do he know? How do you know if he's not a personal God, if he doesn't love you so much that he wants you to cast off all the chains of this world so that, you know, that, that you're free and repent because that repentance cleans your heart. I'm telling you. But he knew that I wanted to try. I didn't want to. I wanted to go places with him. I wanted to hear his voice. I wanted to see him tell the story from the beginning to the end. I wanted to hear his voice more than anything crystal clear. And that's that's what was happening. And I wanted to share this because, you know, I've, I've, I've been in a repentant state. I mean, you should always be in a repentant state. And let me tell you, God sees the good that you do, period. He sees the good that you do. When you pray for someone in a store, when if you're walking in a store, because I had a vision of the whole world repenting, it was amazing. And, and, I'm, and it makes sense now. But if you go in somewhere and you... um. You see someone, they look distraught, and you just, your gut tells them that person's in pain. That is the Holy Spirit telling you. And and this happened to me last night in Lowe's. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm proud. I mean, I'm not proud, but I, I was excited. You know, I prayed for this 
cashier at Lowe's last night, found out her mom has pancreatic cancer. The Holy Spirit led me to her because as soon as I walked in, I'd been praying before I got in. And as soon as I got in, I felt like I started seeing people differently. I saw a man walk by and his face was just, I saw pain. And I was like, what is this? What is going on? And the God was just like, you're going to find someone. You, you need to pray and with someone. And, and I found her. It was, it, was, it was wild. But he sees all the good that you do. Start to finish from when you wake up, he knows your every thought. He is for you. He is with you. He is with you. I'm telling you, he, he is with you. Whether you believe it or not, that's what breaks his heart is that there are so many people that have been taught a religious caste and all these things that are not true um, about God. And they have misrepresented him as this like force that is, you know, all judgment and all fire and all, you know, fear. Guys, he is, he can be the things, but he's so much more, so much better than we have not done a good job of representing a loving, powerful God that can move anything, that could bring a mountain to you to eat off the tip top when you're in heaven, if that's what you want. He wants to do everything for you. But I had to get this, share this. Hope everyone's having a great day. Please, if you're not saved, take the time today. Call out to the Father in heaven. Tell him you love him. You're sorry. He will start guiding your path. You know, he will be saved by the blood of the lamb. And then the Lord God will accept you. Oh gosh, before I forget. Okay, when your soul was made, he was there. He saw your soul made and you'd be born. That was another thing. All right, love you guys. Bye.